But sometimes art doesn't have frames. Uh, sometimes there's sculptures in a city square or something to that, to that effect. Sometimes there's, uh, what do you call it, um, guerrilla art? I, I'm not sure if that's the right term for it. Take it out of the frame. But most of the time art is in a box. But I guess I can't say um, with complete certainty that it is the box that makes art art, because art is still art, whether it's in a box or not, whether it's in a frame or not. The next question, though, what would you say is not art, it kind of helps. And I think it's very hard to exclude any kind of human creative activity from art. And in that sense, I would almost say there is no real such thing as art. Art is not a, a thing. I can't say, here's an art. Pick up a, an object and say, there, there's an art. You like it? It's an art. Because art is no thing. It's not a thing. It's a, it's a concept. And it, 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 I would go so far as to say it, it can't define really anything. It's, it's meaningless in itself. And we say art this, art that all the time, but I think we're talking about a subset of human creation, of human creative endeavor. And maybe for that sense, the, the term art is as convenient as we can get it, and there's, there's no real point arguing over details. Still, I suppose the greatest um, factor, the he most heavily weighted factor in our determining whether something is art, probably is whether the artist considers it art, whether it's intended to be art. Um, however, I don't think art is a phenomenon in itself. I think it comes from other purposes, which gets to your next question. Uh, sorry, make that your last question. Is there something about non-utilitarian creation that makes it special or different? Or better or worse? Um, and you kind of give away your position on the definition of art, um, which I will attack immediately. And I will say that there is no such thing as non-utilitarian non art. If it wasn't utilitarian, we wouldn't do it. We wouldn't make art if it didn't have a purpose. Art always has a purpose. Uh, the most common purpose, I think, re regarding art is communication. Um, I firmly believe that, uh, that the most common role of art is to communicate, to talk to other people. And I think that's what art actually grew out of, and that's why we have art today, as opposed to no art, as opposed to just houses and I don't know where we'd be without art. Uh, but it is utilitarian, and there are, I, it's, communication is not the only purpose for art. There are other purposes, I believe, um, but it is the, by far, the primary purpose of art. But then, perhaps you're talking about non-utilitarian as not directly useful. Um, I, again, I think I would take issue with that, because I think that communication is just as valuable. Um, if you think of uh, like a nation in terms of uh, what infrastructures it has and what what builds its economy and what keeps it going, especially in our age, information technology is just as important as um, all of the resource extraction, energy creation, um, manufacturing, etc., etc., etc. Information technology is right up there with it. And uh, management technology, like uh, people who have been to business schools, uh, CEOs, people like that, um, uh, their work is highly uh, non-material. And um, I use that term, I don't really mean non-material, because I believe even things like management have a very material use and a very material purpose, but I use that term to mean that they're not actually touching um, the energy that's being created, the trees that are being cut down, the oil that's being brought out of the ground, um, and yet they are they're very highly paid, and they, um, they do a very 
non-material task is the term I'm choosing to use, although I don't really mean it. Um, so in that sense, the art, the artist is very similar. Um, I think we, but we also have a in our society today in North America and the world, I'd say we have this picture of the artist as being someone who um, kind of lives in a studio apartment and uh, writes poetry and, and like works on painting and reads and we don't see the artist as being a very productive member of society for some reason and instead we tend to um, we tend to elevate people like stockbrokers and um, and CEOs because those are the people who we pay the most uh, who else do we pay the most? Sports stars? I guess we there are a class of artists who do very well and who are rewarded by our society um, and I guess that's another criteria I'd have to give for artists but, that, but again I think I mentioned profit earlier um, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, not P-R-O-F-I-T, which is, <laughs> it's interesting how that's related, um, but I, I really think that uh, the successful artists, or capital A artists, are profits, or like, um, if, they, if they sell a million albums, or if they do, do whatever they do and become very successful, I think that's, they move beyond the status of artist into the status of profit, because I think artist is a mantle that anyone can put on, and um, anyone who's created anything or he has even written a letter could be considered an artist. Um, so I think I've answered um, all of the questions that you asked, and um, I know other people are going to be watching this. Please, if you see something that I wasn't clear about, please ask it, do ask in the comments, and I'll elaborate on my, my beliefs. I'm also, I'm looking forward to watching everybody else's video response to Q&A hyphen art capital A. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's responses and I will also, I'll be asking you for your clarifications on whatever um, whatever beliefs you profess or you put forward in your videos, um, watch for my comments, uh, because I, I will be asking, I, I think I'll be asking, probably, I'll be asking questions uh, to you about your beliefs. Um, and I'm also looking forward to Michael's uh, video on what he thinks art is. And obviously I think it's a little annoying when when people ask a question like this and say, ah, but after this I'll tell you my opinion. But, you know, that's okay. Go ahead and do it. Um, I don't mind. Okay, so, uh, bye.